Hello, my name is Walter Wimberly. I'm an assistant professor of computer science, and today I'm answering questions I get from students and sometimes even people looking to go into college. So today's question I'm going to answer is, should I drop out of school or maybe not even start college so I can go work on my great app idea? I've read about people like Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, Michael Dell, and others who didn't complete college. I've got a great idea. Should I maybe go that route? Well, I'm going to give you a very honest answer. And the answer is it really, really depends on you. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I'm not going to try to push you one way or another. I'm just going to give you some important facts and make you think about a few things. Now, we hear about people like Mark Zuckerberg, and Bill Gates, and Michael Dell, and some of those other people because they were successful. On the other hand, I've known a lot of people who have dropped out of college, and none of them are millionaires or billionaires. So that's one thing you want to consider. You don't want to become a victim of what we call survival bias. And that is where we see successes, and we assume that that's the way everything is. So that's one thing I want to caution you about. Look at people who had a great idea and maybe they were just a year or two too early to market or maybe they were a year too late. Read about those people if you can find them and see how they did and how they managed afterwards. Number two, and this is going to be kind of a painful thing to hear, but ideas are a dime a dozen. Everyone has ideas if you're a computer scientist, whether you're in college or you're working in the field, you're going to have people come up to you like, hey, I've got this great idea. Little split the profits 50-50. I have it happen to me all the time. You will too. That's nothing special. The question is, how are you at taking that idea and implementing it? Because ideas are easy. Implementing that idea is where the challenge is. And that's where you got to be really, really good. Now, I've met people coming into a computer science degree that they already have some computer programming experience, and they've spent time learning it on their own. They've looked at resources online and learned from it there. They've started working on it. That's great. But that's still not implementing a business plan and making it valid. So what would I recommend if this is your idea? Maybe you started something and you're seriously considering this. Well, the first thing you need is what we call an MVP, a minimally viable product. Can you take a completed product, maybe not a finished one, but a completed product that you can then show to potential investors and get them to sign on to your idea? Because if you can get investors to then invest money into your idea, then maybe you have something worth leaving school for so you can go become the next whoever you're trying to follow. But if you don't have a product that you can't convince your friends and other people to use, then you're going to have a real hard time. If you look at Mark Zuckerberg and his plan and what he did is he built something while going to school. He got his friends to sign on and start using it and start expanding it. Then he was able to grow from there. At that point, he dropped out of school. He didn't drop out when he had the idea. So that's an important thing that you need to know and be ready for is can I convince other people to start using it? Because you might have a great idea, but if people don't want to use it, it's not going to matter too much. So can you build something? Can you get people using it? And can you get investors? If you can do all three of those things, then you need to look at the idea. Otherwise, you need to keep preparing yourself so you'll be able to do that in the future.